Hello friends, uh, welcome to Aslan Speaks. This is about physical and non-physical negative influences. Now my friends, I was inspired to share this because being a spiritual person and going or being on the awakening path, I see so many things that are negatively influencing people. Now there's seen forces or physical and non-physical negative influences. Now the physical ones are human beings. The physical is music and movies and television shows. And there are certain things that can have a negative influence on you and you're unaware of it. You may think it's cool. You may think it's the right thing. It's programming. That's why television, you're watching a television program. Tell a, tell a lie vision. So tell a lie. It's all for the battle of your hearts and minds. And we're unaware of it. And I'm tired of seeing all this going on, all this corruption in this world, corrupting. What happens when you get a computer, like uh, a virus in your computer? It corrupts your da data inside your computer and makes it not work properly or m malfunction. And that's what we could look at as our human beings, as we are like a computer, our brain's like a computer. And when you unknowingly allow certain things to enter your mind or influence your mind you effectively are putting a virus in your system that can over time corrupt and take over you so i want to talk about this topic and first use your discernment you know like so if you're listening to this and it does not resonate with you then change the channel but also sometimes information is brought to us for a reason. So maybe you're clicked on this video or you're watching this video because your higher self or higher forces to be wants you to watch this. You know, so I was inspired to share this because guys, it's it's time to awaken if you're if you're on this path. Now these physical and non-physical negative influences basically there's a battle going on for, the, for your heart and mind. They're trying, these things, these influences are trying to corrupt you in a way so it could take over your soul, to take over your higher self. And we're unaware of it. Most people are unaware of it. So in the movie Star Wars, it does a, a good reputation. Uh, reput uh, I can't speak. I drank a lot of coffee, my friend, so I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Uh, so in the movie Star Wars, they represent the, this, and they call it the force. The force is like your consciousness or your divine self. And there's the good force, and then there's the dark side of the force. And like, if you use the force within you for positivity, you could uh, create amazing things. And if you uh, choose the dark side, it's like your lower nature, like you are choosing the path of a selfishness. You know, so like, there's a basically a battle for good and evil. And, like, what is evil, really? Or what is bad? Well, I, I like to term it as the absent, absence of love. An action that is absence of love. So when someone does something evil and it hurts you, they did that decision or that action in, in a, in a non-loving way. And our goal as humankind is every decision and every action that we do is to be loving and kind and compassionate. And treat people like you want to be treated. You know, so many times people come into my life or had entered my life and they've done things where I would consider evil or wrong. And it's not that they're wrong in their own sense because everyone has their free will. But they put their self first. The choices they make put themselves first, not thinking about, hey, this action or decision that I'm about to do is going to hurt this person. Whereas me, uh, service to, to uh, others, when I think, before I do an action, I think, how, how's my action or thought or what I'm going to do going to affect somebody else? So I always try to make a loving decision. Even if the decision I make or the action I take, they may think that, hey, that was wrong of him to do that. But whereas where I come from is my attention was, if I have to save a life or make a decision, that I, if I see someone doing, this, uh, in my opinion, something that's going to ruin their life or damage their life even worse, I will make a decision, even if it 
if it sac sac sacrifices my friendship or connection with a person, I'll make that decision 100% of the time if uh, to help them. Even if they think I'm, I betray them or not, it's because I'm doing it to save a life, to save someone's soul, so to speak. So these influences basically are in some circles are called good and evil, light versus dark. In the Christian faith, it's known as angels and demons. Now, these could be the unseen forces out there as angels and demons, you know, because it's scientifically proven that we hear, humans only hear a certain uh, bandwidth and only see a, a certain select amount of light and that there's could be other things that are vibrating at a different frequency that we can't pick up with our eyes. That's why animals... They can see certain things, like cats, when they stare at the certain things, or even babies when they're staring off. It's because they're more in tune with their higher nature or their divine self, and they can see and hear things. So before I dive deeper into this subject, I want to tell you what, what gives me credit. What allows me to have the power to talk about this? And my experience is, is I've been studying spirituality, enlightenment, Christianity, a psychic influence, psychic attack, negative influences, positive influences, my whole life. My whole life, I've been fighting a spiritual battle. I've been attacked on a spiritual realm my whole life. And a lot of it is through my dreams. A lot of it is through people, you know, like the negative forces out there or negative influences. When you're a person of light or let, let's say you're a light worker or you're an angel on this earth or you're a prophet, or if you're doing, if you, or a pastor, a priest, whatever, you don't have to be any of those things. You just be a good human being. When you're a positively oriented and trying to do positive things, you are like you are like a lighthouse. Your energy field or aura, in metaphysical terms, is light and bright. And just being around certain people, your your energetic field or frequency affects the the. The space around you and you just being a beacon of light or positivity can help awaken or enlighten other people and when you're on that path what happens is uh there are negative forces or unseen entities or demonic entities or evil spirits whatever you want to call them or even human beings who are who are basically taken over by the dark side who try to dim your light you know, and this happens to me all, at, or ha had happened to me all the time before I was awakened fully. Why I was always climbing to the top of the success of my life, and then somehow, boom, I get dropped down. And then I get back up, boom, drop down. This happened to me recently. Well, this is why I'm inspired to this, because us light workers are good, loving human beings. We try to help other people, and sometimes people are brought into our lives unknowingly to steer us off course. And this happened in my case recently, where I met someone and basically I was at the top of my game, never thought positive or negative thoughts. I was very successful. I still am very successful. And over time, they just drained me and drained me and drained me. And me being a positive person, I tried helping and helping and helping and helping and being positive and positive. And it just was detrimental for my mental health and my physical health and my spiritual health. And I had to cut that person out of my life. You could help, want to help people, but the, the, here's the, the bottom line, guys. You can't change somebody. Let me repeat that. You can't change nobody. They have to be willing to change themselves. You can show them the way, but like, like I like to use this expression, like I'm a light uh, in the uh, darkness. And someone could see that tunnel of light and be walking through that tunnel of darkness and see the light, but they have to choose to walk that light. You know, and some people... They want the light, they choose the light, and they start walking, but then they turn around and start walking back the other way, the path of darkness. Now, the reason I'm so, I'm so basically, guys, I'm an intuitive empath. I'm able to sense and see things that most average humans are unaware of. And I spent years uh, through meditating, prayer, and working on myself to develop my spiritual gifts and how to work on yourself is you got to learn to delete the negative programming or not to allow the negative influences and negative entities or negative people to influence your life. Uh, so I took years and years and years uh, to work on myself to become a better human being 
to develop my spiritual gifts and to tap into my awareness or my higher consciousness. Now, I'm not special in any way. Okay, guys, I want to make that obvious. I don't want to claim, hey, I'm an intuitive empath. I'm better than you. I'm not. I'm a human being just like you. I've just spent years trying to work on myself. And let me know, I'm human and I still make mistakes. I still sometimes make bad decisions or uh, or allow myself to do dumb things. You know, I'm human. I'm not perfect. But I try every day to show up and try to be a better human being to society and for my friends and family. You know, and sometimes I do, you know, like I said, I make mistakes and I'm sorry. You know, like if I've hurt anybody, I'm sorry. It was never my attention because most of my attentions are always trying to be positive. You know, I've always strived to be a good human being in my life and try to be good to other people and, you know, and be an example. You know, it's, it's one thing to talk about all this, but it's another thing to put it into practice. And a lot of people, they talk about, you know, uh, being good and being a Christian or spiritual, but then when you when the backs turn, the camera's off. They don't. They're holding that person. No, I try to. If I'm, you know, like Jesus was an example. I walk the walk and I talk the talk, and I try my best to do that, guys. So, so, so why are humans? Yes, why are you, uh, or why are humans affected by negative influences? The main reason. The human race is affected by unseen and uh, unseen and seen uh, negative influences because they want to trap us in this lower density, this lower vibrational field. They want to trap us in fear. That's why when you put on the news, all it is is fear, 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 and fear. You know, or certain movies where it's like it's fear, 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 or you're not good enough, or you don't have enough abundance. You don't have enough materialism. It's, it's a trap. It's you guys are getting trapped in the. You're being psychically attacked, and you're unaware of it. We are there's unseen forces, even like energy wise, they're hitting us. They, they they attack us through our food. They attack us through other people, through our water. Everything designed to keep us in a lower vibrational state. So, the reason why we're being influenced by these negative influences is because. When a per, one person, yes, only it takes one person to awaken. And when the one person awakens to the divine within themselves, they awaken other people through natural, by natural, natural selection. You know, that's why Jesus or Buddha was so good in the, their in the past because they, they awakened and them just being around other people, they awakened other people. And our goal is to tap into the divine within us, to our positive aspects and to uh, awaken others. So the reason why uh, we're unaware of this, why there's all these negative influences or people, mostly or it's people and false idols, is through our education, education system and through our indoctrinations. For over hundreds of years, we were brainwashed, you know, and to believe that we're not special. And I, I want to prove that you, you're all special, guys. As an intuitive impact, I can see into people's souls, basically. You know, they say the eyes are the windows to the soul. I can see into people's hearts and minds, and I could tell instantly if there's service to self or service to others. And I can see instantly if there's a light within them that could be shining bright. You know, in most cases or not, I see so much light in people, even if they th they think they're not worthy, if they think that they're, they're damaged goods or broken inside. You're not damaged, you're not broken inside. That's the brainwashing, that's that programming, and that's that negative influences of people and entities affecting you, making you think that you are not worthy of God's love or even yourself. And side tangent, when you awaken, you got to learn to self-love yourself. Love is the key. And if you think you're not worthy of love, then you are not worthy of love because your thoughts create your reality. Let me repeat it. Your thoughts create your reality. So you're like, I'm not loving. I can't feel love. I'm damaged inside. Your your thoughts, the way, you, the way you think, if you think you're damaged inside, then you're going to be damaged. If you think that you're you're not worthy of love or you're not worthy of someone like showing you the positivity and love in life, then you're not worthy of it. And then also when you think you're not loved, what happens is you close off your heart chakra. 
But when your heart chakra is closed off, you're basically repelling love. And in order to attract love into your life, it'll truly like open up that power within you. You have to unlock your chakras and get rid of the blockages. And that helps raise your vibrational frequency. So if you got to learn to love yourself and how do you do that? Hey, just say to yourself, Hey, I love myself. And then start doing loving actions and thinking loving thoughts. So like, Basically, back to my other tangent is that we've been brainwashed, we've been indoctrined, that we, we were taught that we're not special. We're not like, we can't be like Buddha, we can't be like Jesus, and we can't be like the 12 disciples. But even Jesus said, for you will do more better things than I. So I want to argue that we're all divine, but we've been purposely dumbed down on this planet to keep us in a lower vibrational state. But if a person learns to awaken themselves, if a person learns to walk the spiritual path, then they can raise their vibrational frequency and be able to do magical things. One of the magical things, guys, is you'll be, once you start awakening yourself and like embracing positiveness in your life, you start having a better life. And the reason so many people have all this turmoil in their life is because they think they're, they're, they don't master their thoughts one, they don't master their emotions, they close themselves off, and then they surround themselves with toxic and negative people or toxic and negative environments that keep them in that, that poor, pitiful me state or that lack mentality. So it's all, it's, guys, this is a tough subject and um, I hope I'm hitting it on the head. You know, I might be sounding like I'm all over the place, but I'm trying my best here. So I want to get back to seen and unseen forces of negative influences or physical and non-physical influence that affects people's human lives. One of the reasons I'm inspired to create this is because over the years I've, been, I've seen people, friends, family, loved ones who were unknowingly being corrupted and started to choose the dark side or dark, dark side of the force, so to speak. You know, being a spiritual person, I see this all time and time again. You know, where some people are, uh, they, they want the, that gold chain, they want that fancy car, they want that big dream house. And there's nothing wrong with all that. But if you sell your soul or if you do actions or if you hurt other people to get those things, then there's something wrong with that. Now, I'm saying you can get all those things, but you could choose the positive path to do that. Look at me, for example, guys. I used to chase all those things and I realized it was just materialism. It was nothing. And then when I chose the path of enlightenment and chose to be positive and positive thinking and being loving and kind to other people, all, all the stuff that I wanted came to me in a positive way. And I didn't have to hurt or, or belittle other people or walk over other people to attain those things. Those, all those things came into my life naturally in a positive way. Now, every person has free will. So if you choose the path of darkness or evil or negativity, that's totally up to you. But you can also make a choice of choosing the path of positivity. So, so, one, so one of the things of being a spiritual person or an empath is I come across people who are basically constantly fighting an inner battle within themselves. They, they know certain things they do is wrong or bad for them, but yet they choose to do it anyways. I see it all the time, guys, where they... Constantly know that, hey, this action or the things that I'm doing or the people I'm hanging around with or the environment I'm in is not good for me. But yet they continue to cho choose that path. They're battling and then they w and they constantly inner battle. And that inner battle affects you mentally and emotionally and can cause huge strife on your life. You know, I've come across people who know they have a dark nature within them or negative traits within them. And they want to be more aligned to the positive. You know, so my goal is to encourage you that you could make a choice to change your life by choosing positivity. So I want to talk about the seen forces or the negative influences. So this is this part of it is uh, the seen forces. The people. So like I said, it's people, television, movies, radio, all these things uh, affect you. They could bring you to the positive path, or they could take you to the negative path. They could take you to your higher self. Or your lower nature. And it's up to you if you allow this these things to influence you. So as a light worker 
or a person trying to be their, their best version of themselves, often in life when we're doing good, sometimes people are enter into your lives to knock you down, so to speak. Guys, yeah, think about it. I want to quite take a moment. Have you ever been on top of your game? You've been you're successful, you're making money, uh, you're making positive choices, you got a good career. Then someone enters your life and little by little they drain you to the point where you start making bad decisions and you start taking the wrong path and you lose all that success, you lose all that positivity, and you hit rock bottom in your life. I pose the idea that there's these negative influences, seen and unseen, that come into your life to purposely knock you off your path. Like these people enter your life to drag you back down into the darkness or your lower nature. These seen forces can be old friends or old lovers uh, or old family members. You know, like, you know, let's say you're doing really good in your life and then you haven't talked to certain people in years and then boom, out of nowhere, they pop into your life and then you allow them into your life and little by little, they drag you down. You know, also random strangers. They pop in your life and you think they're charming and amazing. And then next thing you know, they're dragging you down. You got to be aware of this in a spiritual level. There, there's a battle going on and you guys, are, most people are unaware of it. So most often people are unaware that these people enter their, their life and are having a negative influence on their life. At first, everything seems like sunshine and rainbows. But little by little, they get you to do things that, that your heart and your soul is against. And that's what, like, the biggest trick, like, evil or corruption or negative-oriented people uh, do. They encourage you to do stuff in your lower nature. Like, you know, this little, little by little, you know, they, you know, get you to do certain things that you normally would never do. And then, but you're like, I, you don't want to lose that person or maybe you love them or you care about them. But they make you do things that you wouldn't normally do, that is against your moral beliefs, against your soul or your heart. And then basically over time, it corrupts you and corrupts you and brings you lower, like you're up here and then lower and lower and lower and lower until the point where you don't recognize yourself. All these negative things pile up before you know it. Yeah. You don't recognize the person you're becoming. You know, like we have that where we see certain people and they were such amazing human beings. They were so loving and awesome. And then they got into the wrong crowd or something like that. They started mix, mingling with the wrong people. And you're like, who is this person? They're not the person that I once knew. And some people, uh, uh, it's sad to say, they get lost in the darkness. Or they choose the negative path. They choose the service to self and are selfish. And they don't care if they hurt you. They don't care if they use you. They don't care if they manipulate you. They'll say they say they'll say they love you. They'll say they want to be with you. They'll say everything, but then their actions say a different thing. So you don't recognize who they're becoming. This causes inner conflict within yourself as well. You're like, who is this person? But it also causes inner, inner conflict with them. These unseen forces or seen forces, through just talking to you. Plant ideas and thoughts into your mind. You're thinking you're having a normal conversation, but on the subconscious level, they are planting certain ideas, thoughts, and negative and negativity in your mind. You know, like th this happens a lot through uh, like hip hop and stuff, where they're like drugs and money and women and fancy. All this is good, best way to live your life, and it's a subconscious thing where over and over they're planting that in your head. So one of the best things, one of the best things I ever did is I stopped listening to anything like that. I stopped watching horror movies. I stopped watching movies that were subliminally uh, planting that kind of stuff in your mind. To subliminally putting in your mind that you should be in your lower nature, or your primal nature. It, when you awaken, you want to be at your highest level or highest nature. So when you become a highest high vibrational being or a loving being and a good hearted person. I, as I watch movies, I have to turn them off half the time because I'll see I see the subliminal, subliminal messaging. I see the corruption in the music and stuff. And I have to change it because I, I will not allow that into my system. We are, we are like, uh, our brains are like computers guys and all this stuff, th thoughts, ideas, certain people, they, they plant viruses in our mind and over time that could corrupt our data or our mind and we our operating system doesn't work properly.
So most people are basically when you hang out with certain people who are negative or toxic, they influence you on a subconscious level. They get you to think that, hey, this behavior, that behavior is normal. You know, so like me being a spiritual person and in intuitive empath, I can see through most people's masks. You know, and I know for the most part when someone is trying to be, I can see when they're trying to be a manipulative or trying to use me. I can literally, when they start talking, I instantly know what they're trying. They're, they're, they're like some people do the poor pitiful me, like, hey, my car is broken. I don't have no money, blah, blah, blah. What they're really doing on a subconscious level is, hey, give me money, fix my car because I can't do it myself. They're trying to use and manipulate you, you know, and it's sad because if you just came out honestly, like, hey, I'm broke. Can I, uh, and I don't, I can't pay you back, but can I have $20? No problem. I'll give you $20 or whatever. Hey, my car's broken. I can't afford to fix it. And you just out and open and be honest with, hey, I need your help. You know, and instead of doing the manipulation thing. So recently I had a friend that entered my life and this person was going through an inner battle. Like my, this friend that entered my life, I could see through her. I could see through her mask and I knew that there was conflict or inner turmoil in, in her life. And when I would hang out with this person and their friends, or her friends, like some of them were, some, some of her friends were good, but some of them I could just see through them. And most of them wore masks, so to speak. They, they and and my my personal friend that was in my life, she was clueless that these some of these people that she allowed into her life were extremely toxic for her, extremely uh, uh, pushing negative influences on her, and she was oblivious to what was going on. You know, she thought some of these actions or the way they live is normal, or you know, or you know, and. She they she didn't wasn't aware that these things were not positive. She thought these people cared about her and it was being friendly. But what I but what I saw with my spiritual vision is people trying to manipulate her and use her. You know, and it's sad because like you see someone that you care about and you're generally a friend to, and you just want to be like, hey, this person, this person, this person, they don't love you. They may say they love you, but all their actions are showing that they don't love you. All their actions and everything they say is getting you to be in your lower nature and to manipulate you and use you and, and, and influence you in a negative state, thinking that certain behaviors and actions are normal. And that basically leads you to the dark side or the your lower nature, you know, and it was just sad. And you could try to point out certain things, but like I said, nobody's going to be willing to change unless they want to change themselves. And sadly to say... Uh, this friend's no longer in my life because it started to ha started to have a, a bad effect on me. You know, you could I could try. You know, lo it lowered my my uh, uh, vibrational frequency to the point where I couldn't function no more, and it was steering me into like negativity and depression, and sadness, and anxiety. So I had to cut that out of my life, and I can't allow anybody in my life that drains me of my energy, uses me, lies to me, manipulates me. And or tries to manipulate and affect me in a ne negative way. And I encourage all of you guys to not allow that to happen to you either. So when this person was in my life, she, you know, this per we were, it was an awesome friendship, you know, and it was, it was doing good. And she was doing good. She was making positive ch decisions. She wasn't hanging out with those toxic or negative inf influential people. She was getting her life on track. But the funny thing is when a person gets their life on track or uh, starts walking that positive path and doing good in their life, guess what happens, guys? Like clockwork, out of nowhere, all her ex-lovers and uh, ex-friends that she hasn't talked to in a while started popping out of the woodwork, and then they started influencing her again. Started pulling her back. They pull her back into the old lifestyle or old behaviors. And then you get a taste of that and you're like, oh, I missed that. And you get pulled down and you're unknowingly getting pulled back into the negative influences of your life. You know, you know, and certain people have a choice. And in order, you know, you could choose the path of light and uh, 
or you could choose and you have to but if you choose the path of light if you try to better yourself the problem is you have to cut out all the toxicity you got to cut out the toxic people or, or the environments that you know when you hang out with certain people or certain environments that they occur you end up going into your lower nature or you uh, are being negatively influenced and then you go down that path and then you're then you wake up one morning and you're battling yourself like why did I do that I can't believe I did this you know and you're and you're hurting yourself well some like for my instance my old my friend she wouldn't let go of her old life you know and she got dragged back into that life and it's sad uh she got pulled back in that old uh, lifetime and she lost all the progress that she made of putting her life back together last time i seen her like all the progress she was making all the positive changes and stuff all the positive thinking all went out the window and last time i seen her she was just a shell of her form the person that i knew and it was so sad to see you know it got so badly like i said i had to cut her cut it cut it up cut her out of my life because it was so toxic you know, and you can try to help and help, but if a person keeps choosing that path, then and choosing people to negatively influence, you know, that influence you, then that's their choice. Then you gotta walk away. Sometimes you gotta let someone hit rock bottom before they can see the light and fix themselves. And sometimes and sometimes a person chooses to fix themselves and sometimes they don't. So I'm, I'm gonna I wrote a little script but I've been going off of it in freestyle so negative influence so guys one of the things that negative influences us is alcohol drugs and certain people certain people that encourage you to drink no I have nothing against drinking in moderately or smoking herb moderately but when you allow it to take over your life it lowers your vibrational frequency it lowers your aura and it allows seen and unseen forces to influence your mind or your energy field. And then you tend to do things like you ever been really, really drunk and then you did something and you wake up the next morning, you're like, I'm so ashamed of myself. I can't believe I did that. Well, when you constantly hang around toxic people or toxic environments or do toxic substances in your body, over time, it breaks you down lower, 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 and lower to the point where you don't have no defenses against it anymore. No to the point where you're like, you know what? I'm just going to give in to my lower nature or I'm broken and damaged. I'm just going to live with it. And I allow all this stuff to make me a shell of who I am. You know, so my, my, what I'm explaining is your vibrational frequency or your aura is like a force field. If you embrace positive thinking, positive thoughts, positive actions, eating positive, like good, healthy foods, hanging around positive people, you will raise your vibration frequency and you repel the negative influences out of your life. You know, so it's, it's really crucial to raise your vibrational frequency. So I don't want to make this an hour long video. So I'm going to try to wrap it up here. If you're battling with yourself, you guys have got inner conflict within yourself. Here, here's what I might share with you guys. This is how you know the people in your life are good for you or the people in your life are bad for you. A true friend, a true lover will never exploit you. They will never manipulate you. They will never use you for personal gain. They will never encourage you to do things that are in your lower nature or not of your highest good. I'm going to repeat that so it sinks into your mind. A true friend, a true lover will never exploit you. They will never manipulate you. They will never use you for personal gain. They will never encourage you to do things that are not of your highest good. You know, like I've seen people all the time where like they, they're in a romantic relationship or, or uh, friends with benefits and they just, you, they say I, they care about you. They say they love you just to get you in bed or to hook up with you. And then once they get what they want, they kick you to the curb. And then a week or two later, they get bored. So they come back in your life and say, hey, I love you or I care about you. Let's, I want to see you again. And then they get what they want out of you and they kick you to the curb. Or some people just use you for uh, materialism. Hey, I'm your friend. You should do this, this, and this. Encouraging you to maybe do negative behaviors or do things to obtain money money and wealth so that they can leech that money and wealth off of you. And then once they get what they want, they kick you to the curb. And then when they don't have nothing, 
or they at their lowest nature and they're broke and have nobody or they come back into your life and they tell you all these things to get you to give give and give so here is uh, a, tr a true friend okay someone a true friend a true family member someone who truly cares about you they will encourage you to make good and healthy decisions let me repeat that they will encourage you to help make you or, or they'll encourage you to make good healthy decisions they will uplift you they will encourage you in a positive way they'll be a positive their influence in your life is positive they only want the best for you and they will do things for you to help you become the better version of yourself they will they will never take and take and take from you they'll instead they'll just give and give and that's what happened to my my the person in my life like it's that I had to cut off my life because like all I wanted was the best for her. All I did is I cared about her. And yes, certain times I, we got in arguments and stuff like that, but it wasn't because I was being selfish. It wasn't because I wanted to manipulate and use her for our friendship or whatever. It was because mo most of the time I was pushing her and encouraging her to become the best version of herself. I was shining a light and at some point, some people like us light workers, they, some people don't like it. Like at first they like it, you know, because, you know, but then at a point it gets too overwhelming and too tough. So they run away because they don't want to do the inner work, you know, you know, so like, it's just really tough guys. You know, I used to have friends in my life that encouraged me to be in my lower nature all the time. They encouraged me to party three, four times a week, smoke and drink all the time. You know, encouraged me to do drugs and do things that were not in my nature. And the best thing that I did in my life, the reason I'm so successful, the reason I have a house and cars and wealth and um, I, I publish books, reason I chose to not, anything that was draining on my soul, anything that was bringing me down, lower my vibrational frequency or not lifting me up, I chose to cut it out of my life. And that's what, if you want to become, have a better life, then you have to, the hardest thing is to let go of that life. You know, so many people hold on to their old life with a, a death grip saying, well, I don't know who I am if I let these, these people go or this lifestyle go. But the best thing that I can encourage you, just let it go. You know, 90% of the people I knew 10 years ago, I don't talk to you no more. It's not that I don't love them. I still love and care for them. But I knew that certain people had negatively influenced my life. Certain environments had negatively influenced my life. And I chose to better my life. And so I chose to cut that out of my life. And so basically another thing I want to mention is we're magnets. We are magnets. We're energy guys. If you choose, if you like that partying, if you like like negative oriented people if you like that people who are chasing materialism who party every day who do drugs every day who go into certain environments that are toxic or negative then you attract that into your life if because like-minded people attract like-minded people you know you know if you like the dark side of the force or if you don't care if you're being negative influence if you don't care if you're selling your soul or giving into the demonic or the 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 demonic, then you are uh, basically attracting that to you. You got to change your vibrational frequency. If you want positive life, because all that's some like even, yeah, you can gain materialism. You can gain houses. You can gain cars by selling your soul, by hurting people, by manipulating people. But in the end, you're creating karma for yourself. And it's never good to hurt people, guys. Or to hurt yourself, because you know, like my my one person that I once knew, my last friend, she what it was the saddest thing to see was the things that she was doing was hurting her, making herself more emotionally hurt, more emotionally drained, sabotaging herself worse and worse, and she couldn't see that, or it's maybe on a subconscious level she knew that, and the key is like if you feel damaged or broken inside, it's time to heal that. To shine the light of that. One, cut all that toxic, toxic people out of your life. Toxic behaviors. And if you have to do the hard thing by 
you know, like, you know what? All these people try reaching out through me through my phone. Get rid of your phone. Delete your Facebook. Delete all your social media. Go to people that are positive and say, hey, I'm making a positive choice to cut out all the toxic people out of my life and environments of my life. Can you help me? And then you have to stick to your guns and do positive things because we're a magnet. So if you change your thinking, like think positive thoughts. Instead of thinking, hey, I'm damaged and broken, say, hey, I'm damaged and broken, but I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to make positive decisions. Instead of being selfish, I'm going to be uh, selfless. Instead of taking and taking to others, uh, I'm going to give to others. And maybe that also means healing the relationships with people that you hurt. All those good people that were trying to help you in your life, that were a good influence on you, and you just used and manipulated them, you got to go to them and say, hey, I'm sorry, and I'm going to change my ways, and I'm not going to just talk about it, but I'm going to do the actions necessary to, uh, to fix those mistakes. Uh, so basically, you guys have a choice. You could choose to give in to these influences, or you can be your own influence, your own divine self. And that, how to do that is listen to your intuitive compass inside you, your moral compass. Stop ignoring it. If your intuitive compass or your moral is saying, hey, don't do this behavior, and it makes me feel wrong, it makes me feel sad, depressed, angry at myself, then don't do that behavior. Because it's corrupting your da data within you. It's corrupting your soul. But you could fix it, guys. You could fix yourself. You could choose the path of light at any moment. You could choose your thinking and any, change your thinking at any moment. If you have emotional trauma, emotional hurt, sad memories, or guilt, or shame that's inside you, instead of adding more to the pile, like here's the, here's your pile, and you keep doing these negative behaviors that adding to the pile, and it's so high that you, you can't escape from it, it's time to maybe seek out professional help. Talk to a psychologist or talk to somebody who's a spiritual mentor or a spiritual coach, you know, and unblock your chakras and your root chakra because you got blockages. That's why you, some people are closed off emotionally. They can't feel no more because the the hurt and pain that and all the shame that they were dealing with, like basically broke them and they shut themselves off. So by talking to a psychologist doing meditation or Reiki work and awakening your chakras, cleansing and doing the inner work and getting rid of the toxicity out of your life, the people and places and things and the substances, you're going to, you could change your life. Now my battery's about to die. So guys, uh, thank you for, uh, 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 following me. And also look, I didn't really talk much about the unseen forces. There are negative entities or, or demons and demonic forces that can't are not seen in this world in this three-dimensional world that influence your thoughts sometimes you get a thought in your your head that says hey i should do this and you know it's negative or it's toxic for you but it keeps pounding in your head and then you end up doing that behavior maybe it's not your own thought it's an outside negative entity so what you got to do for the to repel the negative entity is ground yourself say a prayer of protection surround yourself with a wall of a light white light call on your angels and guides and, or God to, hey, I repel all negative energy. Uh, uh, sage your house every day. Sage your auric field every day. And do the research, guys. Tap into your, and listen to your intuition. And surround yourself with positive people. You know, when you're around negative people, a lot of times they have negative entities that attach to their auric field that are influencing them. And then they jump off of them and they jump onto you. And then they influence you negatively. So there's tons of unseen forces out there, guys. So be aware of that and be conscious of that. Start meditating every day and uh, start embracing positive thinking and positive th thoughts. Your thoughts create your reality. I love you guys. Uh, please like and share because I'm being suppressed on this channel. And I hope you guys the best. Good luck on your journey. God bless and love. Uh, thank you. Like and share.